Good day everyone. Welcome to yet another wonderful session of learning with prep class. My name is Tutor Olalikon Igo, your prep class tutor, and I am so excited to be on your screen once again. In this video, we will be answering questions from the YEG in this 2020 past question, question 46 to question 50. Remember, the purpose of this session is to guide you on how to answer similar YEG questions in your examination. So, before we start answering the questions, kindly subscribe to our channel so you can get free access to numerous educational materials like this one. Also, turn on the notification so you can be notified whenever we drop any new content. Without wasting much time, let's move into the business of the day. Question 46 from section 5. Now, the instruction reads, from the word or group of words letter A to B, Choose the word or group of words that best completes each of the following sentences. I will go over that again. From the word or group of words letter A to B, choose the word or group of words that best completes each of the following sentences. So we are expected to select the option that best completes the sentence. In each sentence, we have a blank space. So we are expected to select the option that will appropriately occupy the blank space. So, question for the six weeks. It was a long poem, but Rashid learnt it dash. It was a long poem, but Rashid learnt it dash. A. Rashid learnt it from memory. Rashid learnt it to memory. Rashid learnt it by heart. Rashid learnt it to heart. So, which of these options best completes the sentence. Now, to memorize something perfectly so that it can be written, recited, or performed without thinking means to learn by heart. Now, whenever you read, whenever you recite or perform without looking at probably a book, a, a notebook, a textbook, or your laptop with phones, whenever you recite or read without looking at any of those you have learned once you are reading or what you are performing by heart. So you learn by heart. It was a long poem, but Rashid learned it by heart. It was a long poem, but Rashid learned it by heart. So by heart is the option that best completes this sentence. Moving on to the next question, question number 47. Remember, we have to select the option that best completes the sentence. So question 47 reads. Let's begin all over again. Option A, may we? Let's begin all over again. Option B, shall we? Let's begin all over again. Option C, can we? Let's begin all over again. Option D, must we? So, which of these options best completes the sentence? Now, looking at this sentence, it says, let's begin all over again. This sentence is an imperative sentence. There is really no choice for the listeners. It's not like saying, can we begin all over again? Or should we begin all over again? The listeners or the audience actually have a choice. But in this sentence, it's an imperative sentence. It's more like a subtle command. Let's begin all over again. There's basically no choice. Let us begin all over again. You're not asking a question like, should we begin? Can we begin? It's an imperative sentence, although it comes in the form of a question. Let's begin all over again. There is really no choice. So, the only option that does not give a choice is shall we. Remember, the use of the mode of shall is used to express instructions and commands. Whenever you use shall, it is used to express either instructions or command. So, when you say let's begin all over again, there is basically no choice. You are not saying, can we begin? Should we begin? It's different. It's more of, It's more like a command, but it comes in a subtle way. It's a subtle command. So when you say, shall we? Shall we is the answer to this question. Let's begin all over again. Shall we? So when I say, shall we? You basically don't have a choice than to say yes. Because shall is used to give instructions and commands. Let's begin all over again. May we begin all over again? That's a question. It's a direct question. Can we begin all over again? You can actually say yes or no. 
So when you say let's begin all over again, there's basically no choice. Although it's a question, but it comes in the format of a subtle command. Let's begin all over again. So the best option, the most appropriate option for this question is shall we? Moving on to the next question, question number 48. Question 48 reads, something must be wrong with the school driver. He is dash today. Remember, we have to select the option that best completes the sentence. Something must be wrong with the school driver. He is dash today. Now, this question is based on the order of adverbs. Something must be wrong with the school driver it is dash today. Now, what is the driver doing? He is driving. How is he driving? Rather. Now, rather is an adverb of degree. Carelessly. Adverb of manner. So, for order of adverbs, the adverb of degree must always come before the adverb of manner. Because the adverb of degree shows to what extent the performer of the action is performing the action. Now, so rather as an adverb is always placed before another adverb and mostly the adverb of manner. So what is the driver doing? He is driving. The duty of the school driver is to drive. How is he driving? Rather carelessly. So the answer to this question is something must be wrong with the school driver. He is driving rather carelessly. Now, what is the driver doing? Driving. How is he driving? Careless. Now, we want to show the degree of carelessness with which the driver is driving. So, we use the adverb, rather. The driver is driving rather carelessly. So, whenever you have rather, it must always come before the adverb of manner. Moving on to the next question, question number 49. Remember, we have to select the option that best completes the sentence. So, question 49 reads, What I admire about our football team is that they love dash. What I admire about our football team is that they love dash. A. They love themselves. B. They love one another. C. They love the other. And D. They love ourselves. The answer to this question is themselves. What I admire about our football team is that they love themselves. Why is themselves the answer? This question is based on types of pronouns. Because all of the options we have are examples of different types of pronouns. Now, this sentence demonstrates the use of reflexive pronouns. Now, reflexive pronouns are pronouns that show that the subject of a sentence is also the object of the sentence. The subject performs the action on itself. Now, they love who? Who do they love? Themselves. The action is love. The action of love is being performed on themselves. So the subject, they, is also the object. And the object form of the pronoun they is them. Whenever you use they as a pronoun it comes in the subject position but whenever we want to talk about they in the object position receiving the action it becomes them now the answer is themselves because the action is being performed on themselves what i admire about our football team our football team is that they love who who do they love themselves the football team they love themselves now one another would be a wrong choice because one another is used when three or more different entities are involved. One another would have been the right answer if the um, speaker had said, what I admire about our football teams, now there is more than one football team in the question. What I admire about our football teams is that they love one another. But now we are just talking about one team. The speaker is part of the team. So the action has to be performed on the subject. What I admire about our football team is that they, subject, love, action, themselves, object, the action is being performed on the subject. The subject is the same person as the object. So, the answer to this question is 
themselves. What I admire about our football team is that they love themselves. So, moving on to the next question, which is question number 50. Question 50 reads, This is the teacher Dash told me the answer. This is the teacher Dash told me the answer. A. This is the teacher whom I said told me the answer. B. This is the teacher who I said told me the answer. C. This is the teacher who I said he told me the answer. Option D. This is the teacher I said that he told me the answer. Now, this question is based on pronouns. Now, types of pronouns, which is the relative pronouns. Now, what are relative pronouns? Relative pronouns are pronouns that refer back to their antecedent. They refer back to the noun or pronoun that come before them. They point back to the noun or pronoun that comes before them in the sentence. Now, the answer is between whom I said and who I said. These are relative pronouns, but who is always used in the object position. When you are talking about the receiver of the action, but who is always used to refer to the subject, what the performer of the action. Now, to get the answer to this question, ask yourself, is the teacher performing or receiving the action? Who is performing the action of telling the answer? The teacher is performing the action. So, this is the teacher who I said told me the answer. Now, we can actually what remove I said from the both options. Now, let's use just whom and who to fill in the blank space. This is the teacher who told me the answer. Is that correct? That is obviously wrong. We want to say, this is the teacher who told me the answer. Now, that is the right expression. So, who I said is the correct answer. This is the teacher who I said told me the answer. Who told you the answer? The teacher, this is the teacher. Which teacher? The one I said told me the answer. Who I said told me the answer. So, who I said is the answer. The teacher performed the action of telling the answer. That is why we are using who. Who is always used for persons in the subject position. Who is always used for persons in the object position. And with that, we've come to the end of this wonderful video. Do not forget to like and comment. If you have any questions, kindly drop them in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Mr. Olalikon Israel. Bye.